Just as I'm getting over the shock of my wife's affair, I find out she's pregnant by her affair partner. What now? My wife, 26F, and I, 29M, pretty much have not had sex since COVID started. Mostly because two months into it, I lost my job as an office manager at a small business. There were no other jobs hiring as much as hospital jobs so I made the decision to become a janitor at a hospital. The steep drop in income, as well as that it'd be working in the front lines, made my wife tell me she can't bear to touch me at all. I ended up making the decision that because my dad had an empty room above a detached garage that for the time being I'd go to work and then go home to my dad's garage with its separate entrance so I wasn't putting anyone at risk. I thought things were going okay. My wife and I had a three-year-old daughter together and I'd FaceTime her whenever I could. But my wife started getting distant and asking if I could pick up another job because our finances were still so tight. She was disappointed when I said I didn't think I could find any and the people at the hospital were telling us that overworking ourselves would really doom us if the virus happened to be incubating inside of us. I would call my wife and she started just not answering my calls until later. I was the most alone I'd ever been but I thought that at least my wife seemed to be okay since she was posting about having zoom wine and cheese night or virtual board game night with her friends pretty much every night on her story. Slowly though my FaceTime calls would be reduced to a few quick words with my wife before she put the phone on my daughter. I came home around fall of 2020. However, my wife said she'd rather I sleep in the guest bedroom and keep most of my activities restricted to that area. So basically from that point all the way to March, I would spend most of my time at home in my separate room and only my daughter would sometimes come in. I started suspecting something suspicious when my wife would just leave the house for long periods of time. Also, I saw discarded price tags of expensive clothes and other stuff M that I knew we wouldn't be affording on my salary. She leaves her iPad pad open one day and I see a trail of money transfers via Zell from the same person. She finally admits to the affair but phrases it as she was in total survival mode and sarcastically said that I had hopped off into the sunset like you were going off to war and I was supposed to wait at the windowsill for you. After our blowout argument I go to my dad's house to blow off steam. When I get back home, my daughter was up already but my wife was sleeping. She was clearly upset and could sense we were fighting. We went to counseling and my wife told me some legitimate issues she was having, namely the panic attacks at the thought of getting coronavirus and being a single mom to our daughter. Two weeks go by since our last session and my wife starts feeling sick. During therapy we had promised each other an open phone policy if either of us felt uncomfortable, because she also said that she cheated because she was thinking I could have easily also had an affair. I felt she was being sneaky again so I asked if I could see her phone. She then said that she needed to talk to me. Me. She broke the news that she took two pregnancy tests and went to the doctor when I was at work with the father and the texts reflect that. It's a foregone conclusion that the baby isn't mine. I didn't want to come face to face with the other man but my wife said that he wants to be a part of his kid's life. My wife and I are both white and the other man is African American. And the other man says that he's the only one who can impart on the kid the other half of his or her identity. After I told my family they all said that eventually my daughter was going to ask questions and there was no way to brush this one under the rug. They are blowing up about the fact that I was going to have a physical representation of my wife's infidelity around me and begged me to leave her. But my wife had said previously that if I tried to leave her I would just end up breaking my daughter's heart. And in the past few days I've been bombarded by assumptions that I will be racist towards the child especially from the birth father. This has not done anything to my view that every person is equal and it burns me that people think just because this awful thing of infidelity I experienced involved a black man and will soon involve a biracial baby that I'm racist. I will never be anything but affectionate to the kid. I will honor the child as my daughter's sibling. But I don't think I can stand my wife anymore. I don't think I can stand being around her because every moment it's always anger and stress for me. Like how this baby 
baby she wants to have is coming but I don't see how I could be in the delivery room when the father wants to be there. I don't know what to tell my daughter who knows that I'm very upset right now. I can barely afford to make rent for our family yet she was out spending some other guy's money on her own comfort items. Do I stay and allow the father start paying for expenses related to the baby? Do I have to let him visit the house now or talk to him? I don't think I can do either. My wife said that the affair ended but now their relationship will never end. But my daughter is very astute and will be seeing how I handle this. And part of me still remembers the things that made me fall in love with my wife. But I hate to say that I would have forgiven her if she wasn't pregnant. I'm sorry I don't hate the kid or anything but this just made everything so much more complicated. I am at a loss of how I would leave. Your daughter will absolutely be seeing how you handle this, do you want to give her the message that you should say in a marriage where you aren't respected if there are kids involved? Op you didn't do anything wrong, leave your wife and co-parent your daughter without being married to her. Plenty of children growing up this way today. Children will absolutely understand after a while. First off, I want to say that I'm really sorry this happened to you. Nobody should have to experience the pain of hearing the news that the woman they fell in love with is pregnant by another guy. Truly gut-wrenching. In reference to your windowsill comment above, my thought is your wife had two options, absolutely wait at the windowsill for you or go get a job herself to help. Cheating is not a legitimate excuse in your situation. You were working during a pandemic, putting your life on the line to keep the lights on. You sacrificed for the family and she took it as an opportunity to go play. The fact that she used your kid as an excuse not to leave is absurd, and it really speaks to the quality of person she really is, as if the other stuff hadn't. You're not going to like what I'm going to say, but you probably need to leave your wife. You should absolutely file for primary custody of your daughter as well as it seems like her character has come into question. Sure, your daughter will struggle with this. I did when my parents divorced. But kids heal and they grow to understand the situations. You need to get yourself into a healthy situation. Give yourself a chance to be happy. This will work out for the best for your relationship with your daughter at the end of the day. Meanwhile, sit back and watch your wife's life implode as the guy she hooked up with jumps ship to chase the next lady he can find. The skin color of the child will never deter from the fact that it will be a constant reminder to you of your wife's infidelity. Try as much as you want you will never be able to treat the newborn as well as your biological daughter if you stay in your life as both their father figures. You need to split from your wife. Do not forgive her. What she has for is irreconcilable. You were providing for your family at a critical time during everyone's life not seeing your child in person during her development age for months in end and your wife had the audacity to cheat on you at this time. Did you ever think of how your wife left to meet this man? Did she leave your daughter with friends of hers risking your child's life to go enjoy her fling? Did she leave your child at home to jeopardizing her safety? while going to meet this man. Did she bring the man into your home to lay on your bed in a house that you are providing for? Your wife does not love you, she never will love you again, your life will never ever be enjoyable if you stay with her. You need to split from your wife. Your daughter's heart will not be broken. You have done nothing but love and provide for her push for joint custody and you will get it. You need to regain your confidence in yourself don't listen to what your wife is telling you everything she's saying is for her gain alone. The love is gone from your relationship don't stay with a roommate and their added baggage. Leave. Hopped off into the sunset like you were going off to war and I was supposed to wait at the windowsill for you. It sounds like you didn't do that, since you called and FaceTimed often. And even if you hadn't, being apart for a few months isn't an excuse to cheat. She was feeling like she was in survival mode she should have communicated her feelings rather than cheat. That if I tried to leave her I would just end up breaking my daughter's heart. This part is ridiculous to me. She made the decision to cheat and jeopardize your relationship ship not you. Whatever happens because she cheated is because she cheated, not because you're reacting in an understandable way. His wife will be breaking their daughter's heart by using her as a pawn, rather than respecting her as a person. It can be tough for a few months or it can be tough for the rest of your life. 
walk away, joint custody. You got played, it happens, rip off the band-aid. Get divorced before she gives birth, at the best least he wants to not be put on that birth certificate automatically, because it's one less hurdle to jump when trying to get out of presumed paternity. Unfortunately he'll still be the presumed father, but like I said, one less hurdle. Also, paternity test. It's unlikely she only started cheating during a pandemic, when it's harder to find a fair partners. Heard from my estranged sister after a long time. I did not have a happy childhood. My mom was obsessed with the performing arts, she was a failed actress. I was overweight, not overly attractive and not talented in that way. I was bookish and shy. My mother always let me know what a disappointment I was to her. My little sister on the other hand was naturally talented and very bow today I fucked up. She had everything I didn't. She was my mother's golden child. Mom showered her with praise and attention and mostly ignored or belittled me. I grew up hating my mother and resenting my sister. I was jealous of her. Jealous of her looks, jealous of her talent, and jealous of the love our mother showered on her. My sister wasn't really mean to me but I wasn't particularly warm to her. As soon as I turned 18 I left for college and never looked back. I lost touch with them both. Over the years my sister has gone on to great success in the entertainment industry. I watched her career flourish from afar but we never kept in touch. I went to college, got a degree, built a career and a family, and mostly put my sister and my mother behind me. During the pandemic my sister reached out to me on social media. She wanted to get back in touch with me. Regretted that we hadn't kept in touch apologized for being so busy, as if it was her fault alone. I decided to try and put my bitterness aside and talk to her. We caught up. One day talking to her I mentioned how I felt that she had gotten the best of mom and she laughed. She said I was lucky. Mom had always been very demanding of her, always pushed her, critical, overbearing, she told me she never had a spare second to herself. She was always being dragged to beauty pageants, auditions, acting lessons, singing lessons, dancing lessons, modeling lessons. A typical stage mom. I never saw the worst of it. Once I had left mom was terrible to her. Mom would berate her for even small mistakes. She had crazy high expectations of her and was putting immense pressure on a teenage girl and without me to vent her anger on she vented it on my sister, putting her under even more pressure. My sister told me how sad and lonely she was through her teenage years and how she had wanted to be closer to me. I was flawed. I had spent so much time resenting the love I thought mom showed her I never realized how toxic that love really was. I never realized how terribly mom had treated her too. I saw my sister's success later in life and never thought of her as another victim of my mother's. I don't know what to say to her now. I don't know how to explain to her why I never kept in touch or how much bitterness and resentment I had for her. I was so busy being jealous of her I never saw how she was a little girl being bullied by our mother as well. I'm ashamed of myself. Not your fault, perspective is key. When my dad passed, my uncle was talking with me at the wake about their lives, particularly as children. Then he let out the bomb that had been eating at him all his life. He felt his mother didn't love him or even like him. This affected him his entire life. I asked why he thought that. What he told me was a part of why he was wrong. It was actually that he was her favorite. But he couldn't see that. But a kid's perspective is one that does not have much life experience and can easily get things wrong. Once I explained that exact item and added in the other items, boy did his eyes go wide. He finally realized that he had been wrong all his life. I'm glad you did not wait your entire life, or nearly so, as in my uncle's case. Keep looking at the bright side, reanalyze things and hopefully you avoid this type of pitfall in the future. It's a challenge we all face. I wish you and your sister the best. Disabled fiancé with past of cheating no longer shows me affection. My fiancé, 38F, and I, 42M, have been together since 2009. We both came out of abusive relationships, 
but we did well together. Things cooled off between us, she said I reminded her of her brother, among other things, and we separated for two months in 2011. She informed me the following year of unprotected sex with people in that time. We weren't together, so my reaction is okay, no biggie. We moved to a new city at the end of 2012. After getting settled, in 2013 I encouraged her to be more social and get out and make friends. Soon after, she stopped going out and became more reclusive. By early 2014, she deteriorated and ended up hospitalized due to a severe psychological condition. Since that time, I've become her caregiver. She found a medication that allowed her to keep her personality intact, but damages her libido. In 2015, she informed me that she had cheated on me more than once in 2013 when she went out to socialize. I said if you cheat again I'm leaving. Since, I've tried to forgive her, to learn to trust her again. We last had sex toward the end of 2016 and all physical affection dropped off to almost nothing. We fell on hard times in 2017 and became functionally homeless, I was working 50 plus hours a week, we were living in a seedy motel. While at this motel she befriended a couple and I came back from work several times to find her drunk from beer they gifted her. I never caught her doing anything with them, and when asked, she denied any wrongdoing. Today we are still functionally homeless, out of the motel, in an Airbnb, but the pandemic allowed me the time off to finally reflect on what has been happening. We get along really well. We're really great friends. She recently told me again that I remind her of her brother. I'm so deep in I'm not sure what to do. I feel like I keep her anchored. If I leave her, she has no income and no reliable family. It could destroy her. Her medication clearly states a reduction of sex drive, but not a drop to zero. I'm not happy being celibate, we also haven't cuddled in years. I might get a couple of hugs a week and a peck on the lips at the end of the day. The lack of reciprocation has made me feel far less attracted to her. I don't want to live the rest of my life like this. I haven't talked to her about this yet. I will talk with her, her mental condition means that I feel I have to approach this situation with more information than I currently have. Am I being taken advantage of? In advance, thank you. Too long didn't read, we started great, disability happened 5 years in, she informed me of infidelity after the disability and she seems to have no interest in intimacy with me anymore. Edit, more information posted in comments.